So we start by going to our model wizard, select new. So we, we select our space dimension, we work with the 3D, which we select. Then we come here to select our physics. So we're actually going to use a secondary current distribution for our work. So we go ahead in here, when you we choose under electrochemistry, we have primary and secondary current distribution. We have tertiary current distribution. So we go just under primary and secondary current distribution. We select the secondary current distribution. Then we go ahead to add this. Then we move to our steady, where we have to select our steady. And we'll be dealing with the time dependent steady. So we go ahead to choose time dependent with initialization which we add. So this brings us to our, our interface, our console interface, where we have added our, our selected our physics and our studies. So we go ahead to add our parameters. We want to load from file. So we go ahead to console. Electrochemistry. Back, then there should be So we go ahead to load our parameters. I will load from file. Programs file, console, multi physics, applications. Then I think we can search the creative plating parameters. So when we search for the creative, it will quickly search for our parameters, then we load it, we open, we add to our file, as you can see in here. So we've been able to load our file quickly, as shown over here. So I think we can go start to build our geometry. We go to geometry, right click, then move to insert sequence, which we go ahead to add. And for our sequence, we'll be using the decorative plating geometry for our sequence. So this is our sequence that we'll be using for our work. So choosing the creative plating geometry sequence, we open, load. Okay, so now we have been able to load our sequence. Then we go ahead to build all. So that builds our geometry as shown in here. I want to show transparency as well. 
So as you can see, in here, so we go to materials. check for materials also. We'll add our materials later, not now. So you go to secondary current distribution and you want to change the current distribution type. We maintain it as secondary for now we'll be making some changes as well at, at the electrolytes also. We want to change the electrolyte conductivity to user defined, where we want to set this to K, PPA, and yeah. Action. So we want to go back to secondary current distribution. We want to add an electrode surface where we we'll add to our work. We want to select domain four for our electrode surface. So we've selected the domain four for our electrode surface. as shown yeah. So we go ahead to check the electrode phase distribution. So at the model input, not yet. So after adding your electrode surface, you go ahead to choose the domain. So we want to select domain four. Just for this where we selected to be our electrode surface in here. So as you can see, there are many sections. Uh, we have the film resistance. Now we move down to boundary condition. We have the perturbation amplitude. We have the external electric potential. We have different uh, expressions that we can actually change them to for the boundary conditions. We have average current density, total current, and many others that we can actually change. So we are maintaining this to be the electric, electric potential. Now for uh, dissolving depositing species, we want to add. So we go ahead and select this area. This is where we're able to add our species. So click on to add and it has added a species to it. So we have S1 mean density as, as this and molar mass as this. So we've added our dissolving depositing species to the electrode surface in here of our work. So 
So, like I said earlier on, we selected domain four for our lecture surface in here, and we went ahead to add the species, but we want to modify the variable for our species. We want to define it based on our parameter. So you go ahead to define it as n i. We want it to be the r o r h o n i. We want this to be molar mass of an I as soon so we go ahead to open the subdivision for electro surface, then we go on to check the number of participating electrons stoichiometric coefficient for dissolving the persistent species as well. We've seen that what we 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 change when we change the variable over there, it has been defined over here. We want to change the number of participating electrons to two. We want to change this side to one as well. And this is the equation that comes to solve it with. Goes down. Then the equilibrium potential changes to this Q and the N I. Then move on to the electrode kinetics where we want to choose before that we want to choose the local current density so we go to electrode kinetics then we select our expression type to Butler Palmer equation and change this current density to this underscore nickel i and i non nickel and i. So we've changed the current density this side. And move ahead to add, to duplicate this electro surface. So we have a second. Move to the electrode reaction where we compare what before that it has to be changed, the domain has to be changed. It has to be changed to this. That's for the, the second surface and also the phase has to also change to average as Shown over here. and this expression too has to change to this. As shown in here. Then move back to here. And also the Coefficient has to change to one, has to be one. So we go ahead to the electric surface and we want to add a reaction. 